Hello YouTube, this is Daz of the Cameraman. Today is Monday 16th of September 2013 and this is another video about disinformation and suppression of truth. This video was posted by BP Earthwatch and claims to show Comet Ison. As you can see this video here uh, by BP Earthwatch title This Images Was Captured by the SLU Telescope and according to BP Earthwatch this is Comet Ison. Only problem is, it isn't. Let's hear the first few seconds of BP Earthwatch's video. September 14, 2013. We're looking at the latest image of Ison's ground-based. It's getting close enough to where they're getting some decent shots. The irony of this image was that it was taken in an effort to debunk the uh, fact that the object ISON has objects beside it and they fail miserably reminds me of okay so let's have a look at the origins of this image uh, this image was taken uh, from a video by the SLU space telescope and let's have a look at that part of the video this is the video by uh, SLU space camera and it is called Comet ISON Conspiracy and it was a short video of 11 minutes where they looked at the various conspiracies, conspiracy claims about Comet ISON and other, other factors. Now at 8 minutes 12 into the video uh, we see this image presented. Let's have a listen to what SLU had to say. Anyway, I have one last image to share with you on tonight. Sometimes it's really easy to see something, to see pretty peculiar sights in astro images, often imaging artifacts and stuff like that. Now take a look at this image taken by SLU member Richard LaPlante last week. Does it remind you of anything? Well, human brains like to spot patterns and sometimes we see what we want to see. And I understand uh, that a certain Mr. Vader uh, used to uh, own something that looked a little bit like this. But open our eyes and frankly, we don't need to come up with these daft theories about government conspiracies or the world ending. Sometimes, you know, the truth is far more interesting. As long as you're ready to actually spend a little time to understand it. Anyway, so there we have it. Uh, this image was presented as an example of, of something that looks like something else, if we use a bit of imagination. Now, nowhere did uh, Paul Cox from SLU Space Camera say that it was Comet Ison. This isn't Comet Ison. So what is it? Let's take another look. Here is a video by D5UNCR on YouTube and he takes on uh, BP Earthwatch as he says here a couple of years ago Mr. Comet Watch tried to convince you that Pleiades, Comet 45P Honda and the Lagoon Nebula were all the dark star Alanin and now he's back under the name BP Earthwatch and this time he claims that NGC 936 Galaxy is Comet Ison and this indeed is uh, what this object is now let's have a look at some images. Uh, these are some uh, links that are posted in D5UNCR's video. Uh, this is from Astrometry Net, uh, NGC 936. NGC stands for New General Catalogue. And uh, this is the Galaxy NGC 936. Uh, here is the next image that D5UNCR has posted from his video. Uh, the Darth Vader Galaxy NGC 936. And of course if we go to Google and just type in NGC 936 you can read all about this galaxy. And uh, if we hit images um, then you'll find plenty of, of examples. Now last night I did post some comments on BP Earthwatch's video and this is one of the comments that I posted um, which was in fact uh, published. Uh, at that stage he didn't have uh, screening of comments switched on. As you can see I commented that the image BP Earthwatch claims is of S1 ISON is in fact the NGC 936 cluster. Google NGC 936 and click on images you will see plenty of pictures. Apparently all this nonsense stems from the image being used in a SLU video about S1 ISON but it's, it never said that the image is of the comet. It's only used to show how our brains work. 
There, now, and I commented further, there, now you can block me for posting the truth. Others might like to copy this comment and repost it later after I am banned. And I gave credit to D5UNCR for the information as he had sent that to me in a private message. And uh, as I fully expected, as often happens with um, these types of YouTube channels that uh, claim to be um, posting the, the truth and exposing suppression of uh, of the truth by the likes of NASA and the powers that be and all this nonsense. Well, who is really doing the suppression of truth? It's people like BP Earthwatch who delete comments, and indeed this comment was deleted, and um, and I was subsequently banned, which is um, par for the course with this sort of thing, unfortunately. And um, I later tried to post another comment, and or the, basically the same same comment, um, so that other people would see the information. And sure enough, by that stage, uh, we got to this one. You have been blocked by the owner of this video. So there we go. There's BP Earthwatch uh, suppressing the, the truth, deleting comments, and blocking people who were posting the truth. But um, obviously the, um, the, the pressure did get to him um, because uh, now we see that there's been a change on his channel. Now if we go back to BP Earthwatch's video today and have a look, uh, we see that uh, he has made this comment. Um, there are, uh, this, this image was presented to me as an image of ice on. Now it appears to be another object shown on the SLU program during the same event and he has also included a, an annotation in the video as it starts. So credit to him for doing that. But my issue is, why was it necessary to uh, block people from commenting on his video? Um, people were, were posting the truth about this object, and as you can see when I have tried to uh, post this information, um, I am now blocked as several other people have reported to me that they have also been blocked by BP Earthwatch who is obviously trying to suppress the truth. It is clear that the, the pressure has, has finally got to him on this video. So many people are now, now aware that this object isn't Comet Ison as he claimed and have been commenting and so he has obviously had to bow to the pressure and um, and make this clarification. But it's interesting that this video is still up. Uh, I think that he should probably remove this video um, and post another video which clarifies the situation about this, uh, this video. Now one other thing I'd like to share finally is this uh, message, this comment that was uh, posted in reply to one of my comments by BP Earthwatch. Unfortunately I didn't take a screenshot of the comment that he was replying to, um, but I can tell you that all I said was, uh, um, in response to BP Earthwatch, that if my comments were deleted and if I am blocked I will be following through with a response video, which is what I typically do. And his reply to that comment, which is now deleted, he has replied, uh, Dazale, do not threaten me. You would not do it face to face and remain standing. You will not do it here. So here we see that he is making a, a threat of, of violence or a statement of violence, if you like. Uh, my comment was uh, certainly not a threat of violence. It was a, a promise that if comments were deleted and I was, was blocked, that I would follow through with the video. And I've got no problem with that. But uh, obviously uh, he seems to think that violence is uh, the way to solve things. Instead of using his brain, it seems he would rather use his fists. Um, so there we go, that's BP Earthwatch for you. Uh, he has subsequently deleted this comment as well, and all trace of my comments on his video are gone. So I think it would be good to finish by watching the rest of this short video by D5UNCR. To the left we see BP Earth uh, watches claims that the image of ice on showing two objects beside it and to the right we see the astrometry net uh, solving Richard LaPlante's original image. It was never claimed to be of S1 ice on. Uh, here is an ESO article showing an image from uh, 2010 about the Darth Vader galaxy. Nope, no comet S1 ice on there. And finally 
another epic fail indeed. Now I know I've said finally about three times already uh, towards the end of this video but finally I think I would like to give the final word to Paul Cox of SLU Space Camera. Now I would ask one question of these conspiracy theorists. It's a question I haven't actually seen asked or answered because what we've all done is we've jumped in to give an explanation of how astronomical images are acquired and processed. But we've kind of forgotten this fundamental question. And the question is, if NASA and governments were trying to cover something up, why did they publish the raw data and images on the Hubble Legacy website showing the very objects you're saying they're covering up? Come on, guys, get real. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. There's a link on my channel and also a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.